Nobody shines like you. So you in that damn hotel, you was like a million watt battery all plugged in. And it ate it up. You made it real. Started as soon as you walked through the door. Can't do nothing about that, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're not a child. You're older now. Much older in a way. You gotta hear this. World's a hungry place. And the darkest things are the hungriest, and they'll eat what shines. Swarm it like mosquitoes or leeches. Can't do nothing about that. What you can do is turn what they come for against them. Dark vs. Light. The saga continues. So as you can see, like if you're a light being, you actually attract a lot of darkness. That's why it's also easy to spot those who really have experienced enlightenment because it's not all just fun and joy. You can see the pain around them. Like most times actually like a lot of enlightenment comes from suffering. You know, it's a painful process to actually transcend. But New Age is obviously don't understand that. Then next to that, so when you are truly a light being and you attract a lot of darkness, a lot of light beings make deals with the darkness. They tap in with entities. Most times they are persuaded by false light, especially those that seek more light, right? That want to be liked that want to have the riches, the fame, personal gain. Then they start selling out. Start with your own soul, your own. You know, what people don't really understand is like the soul, it's very easy to sell actually, because it's just by free will. If you're willing to sell your own integrity for gains then it's a wrap you're sold out so it's put to the side that's no longer your main focus meaning you sold your soul you don't have to have an actual writing in blood it's far more easy than that if you just go against your true self your higher self you're sold out so keep that in mind and then start looking around you. And you will notice, especially celebrities, they're all sold out because they will say anything for a special price, but everybody has their own price. And most times when you're successful or big enough, they will just say, okay, name your price. They will of course try to lower it as much as possible, but eventually, all celebrities go, they all accept whatever needs to be accepted for them to stay in place. Because they're all sold out. And that's is it. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. At least it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. So they sold their soul, right? A lot of these celebrities even just throw it out there, just say it in wide open, like, okay, I sold my soul to the devil, so what? Right? And it's even popularized, it's made cool. Like people throwing all the symbols, you know, putting on the eyes, you know, all the Illuminati and Freemason symbols and all of that. 
dead codes, you know, XO, the whole Skull and Bone Society, pirates, all of that, making it rain. A lot of these reverence to Rain Man, but we're now not going into that one. But that's the thing, right? It all starts with you. Like these people, first off, sold their own soul. But then, then it goes deeper. Because not only did they sell their own, they will sacrifice those around themselves. Right? So loved ones suddenly die young, suddenly disappear, suddenly have an accident, you know? And of course, like, yeah, you can say it's all conspiracy. Must be a theory, not reality, right? And it's all made up. And even like sometimes, like for example, Virgil, right? He was very close to Kanye at first. A designer, creative director of Louis Vuitton and uh, founder of Off-White. So he was really climbing up to the ladders in fashion, exactly what Kanye actually wanted himself to be. And they worked together, starting their own fashion career together, I believe at Fendi. And basically they became friends, but then it was like from friends to competition. And in the end, Virgil won. Now Virgil is dead, right? Cancer, at least that's what they say. But what most people don't understand is that even if it's not like truly pushed as a sacrifice by the people around you, for them, right? It still can be a sacrifice because it's a lot of things happen in the unseen, behind the veil. So if you work with dark entities, these dark entities, they can actually manifest a lot of unseen things, like final destination, basically. You know, so if Somebody puts you on the battles to okay, this person, I want to sacrifice for more self-gain, right? For even bigger career, or more riches, or more fame, or more, you know what, girls. <laughs> so, what do they do? They point out somebody, right? put them with the mind, the mindset. And then these things start happening. Because they're dealing with dark entities. And most people, even those that are dealing with it, cannot see them. But it's around them, and they know your thinking. So from your frequencies of thinking and doing things, they can manifest it. So be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. See you on the next episode.